There's been a big push in the past few years to cut down on lead exposure in southwestern Pennsylvania. Experts say lead in water pipes and in paint in older homes is still an issue. Local leaders are making changes to cut down on exposure, especially in kids. In fact, about 400 new cases of lead poisoning are reported among children in the city of Pittsburgh each year. Today, Pittsburgh City Council introduced a new lead safety initiative. Royce Jones joins us tonight with details and how it could affect local families. Royce. Well, Christine, today, Mayor Bill Peduto, members of City Council and advocates from Women for a Healthy Environment announced a new lead safety law for the city of Pittsburgh. Leaders have been working on this for about two years. The lead safety ordinance is designed to help protect residents from lead exposure. While the city began working about four years ago to replace lead water supply lines, many children still come into contact with lead paint and adults are often exposed through lead in their soil. And while renovating old homes, many of which were constructed before 1978 when lead was banned in house paint. The ordinance will include city inspections to help provide lead safe rental homes and places where children spend time, lead safe demolitions, lead safe renovations and repair and lead safe drinking water. The goal is to end lead poisoning and make the city safer for children and ultimately future generations. Thousands of studies have identified wide ranging effects on young children, including developmental delays, lower IQ, hearing loss, and poor impulse control. And these negative impacts last a lifetime. The impacts of lead poisoning can linger into adulthood and can show up like things like lower lifetime earnings or lower academic achievement. And the solution to lead poisoning is prevention at the source. Right now, young children serve as lead detectors in our home and other environments. Inspections for lead and paint, household dust, soil and drinking water do not occur until after a child is identified with lead poisoning through a blood screening. Now, the new law is not in effect yet. A final vote is expected to happen by the end of next month. And coming up at 6 p.m., an update from the city on their work to replace the lead water supply lines. In the studio, Royce Jones, KDKA News.